of the most important concepts that a new Excel user can learn is the difference between a relative and an absolute cell reference. By default, all references in Excel are relative unless you state otherwise. So to explain a relative reference, I will say I'm here in cell D7, I'll say equals, and I'll click here on B5. This appears as if it's pointing specifically to cell B5, but it's actually not. What it's actually doing is pointing to a cell that's two rows above and two columns to the left of this cell. That is why when we copy it down, it changes from B5 to B6 to B7 because this cell is also pointing two rows up and two columns to the left. Now, if we wanted to make this an absolute value, we would do it this way. B5, we click on the formula bar and hit F4. That places a dollar sign before the B and before the 5. Now, no matter where we copy this, it will always return what's in cell B5. You can mix and match and have the column stay fixed or absolute and the row relative by removing that dollar sign. So now it will always point to column B but the row number will change. Here we got 5, 6, and 7 from the original B5. I'll show you how you can use this in the next video.